So I've written out here uh, the formula for Peterson capture recapture method. Um, I haven't put the capital M here and the capital N here, lowercase m, lowercase n. Instead, I wrote down what, what, what they stand for. But the way I'm going to describe it is um, the equality of two fractions. Now, remember, this second fraction is going to be the number that are tagged the second time over the total number caught the second time. And this first fraction would be those that were initially caught and tagged at the top of this fraction, and at the bottom would be the estimate for the total population. And this is what we're normally finding. Okay, so the, the, this formula actually uses... Um, uses a different form so that this can be found. So this uh, bo bottom thing here needs to be found. Okay, so obviously that you can do some rearranging and find that. Um, the method also requires some assumptions. So these are the assumptions that are made. That um, a, a relatively large sample size is taken, so it's not too small. And um, what is a reasonably large sample size? Well, we don't want to sort of multiply this second amount, if we have one tagged out of 10, for example, or one tagged out of um, 5, that's a very, very small sample size. We want something a little bit bigger than that. Um, here we've got tags to remain so that the tags don't get lost. Okay, so these, this initial number that were caught and tagged, uh, that those tags remain that every member is equally likely to be caught. So those that were caught the first time, um, you know, every member from the population were equally likely, likely to be caught here and again here. So those that were caught the second time, every member of the population are equally likely to be caught here. So this is another assumption that the method requires. Then we have that those tagged mix in with the population. So uh, you, you would have tagged some and then released these um, animals maybe and these animals will need to go and mix in with the rest of the population so that, you know, that this, second, this third thing that I've got here, every member to be equally likely to be caught, um, happens for the tags as well. And then finally, um, that the population to remain constant between the two captures so that if, if too much time has passed, uh, the animals, they, they might have moved on, you know, some, some may have died, some may have been born. So you, you don't want it to be too long between the two captures as well. Let's look at some questions. So here's the first question. We have Tanya wants to estimate the number of snails in a pond. She takes a sample of 10 snails from the pond. She marks each snail with a waterproof dye and then puts the snail back in, in the pond. So waterproof dye meaning that you know, these tags may remain. Um, two weeks later. Now, two weeks later seems a long time. Okay, two weeks later seems a long time. Tanya takes another sample of 10 snails from the pond. She finds that only one of the snails is marked with a dye. So, one out of 10 was marked. And that first time, she only took 10 as well. Let's see what her estimate comes up to. So, Tanya says, I estimate there are 100 snails in the pond. So, she only marked 10. And she, she she found that one of them was tagged the second time she caught 10. And she's estimating 10 times more than this. Um, you know, th this looks like a very small sample to be taken. Um, how reliable is Tanya's estimate? Give reasons for your answer. You are not required to check Tanya's calculation. So we don't need to use the formula to check if this 100 is right. How reliable is Tanya's estimate? So we need to comment on the reliability. So we need to either say that Tanya's estimate is reliable or that it is not reliable. So um, I'm going to say that it is not reliable. So unreliable. And the main thing I'm thinking about is that this sample size is too small. And the other one would be that the, the, this two weeks is too long. Okay, so in two weeks... Um, snails might have left the pond. They, uh, you know, the population might have changed, but in in two weeks' time, so I I only need to say one of them. So I'm going to say unreliable. So unreliable and um, sample size is too small. Okay, and that should be fine. So one mark for um, a statement, and a reason is given here. So here's another question. We have um, Tamiki wants to estimate the number of pigeons in a park. 
He catches a sample of 48 pigeons in the park, tags each pigeon and then releases it. A week later, so again, a week later here um, seems to me quite a long time for pigeons to remain in a park or for maybe, you know, th there might be new pigeons coming in as well. So, um, you know, a week later seems a long time. Then we've got Tamiki catches a sample of 20 pigeons in the park. He uses the Peterson capture recapture formula to estimate that there are 240 pigeons in the park. Work out how many of the 20 pigeons in Tamiki's sample had tags. Okay. So um, these sample sizes, they seem reasonably fine to me. Um, but here, the first task is to use the uh, capture-recapture formula to, uh, to work out how many of the 20 pigeons in Tamiki's sample had tags. Okay, so uh, Tamiki first caught 48. So that 48 is going to be here. Tamiki's estimate was that there's 240 pigeons. So that's there. Then um, a week later, Tamiki had caught 20 pigeons, so caught 20 pigeons, and we need to find how many that are tagged. So this is, um, a lot of the times you will find a lowercase m representing that. Um, so to find this, I simply need to multiply this 20 over here, and then get my m like that. So 48 times 20 over 240 is equal to m. All right, so uh, put that in your calculator. You will find that that gives you four. Okay, next question now. So comment on the reliability of Tamiki's estimate. So um, I, I remember I said that a week later seems a long time. Um, I don't really see why the tags won't remain in place. Okay, so, um, but that's another thing. But let's see what the question is. Comment on the reliability of Tamiki's estimate by considering the assumptions that he needed to make in order to use the Peterson capture recapture formula. So remember that all the assumptions need to hold. Um, if, if I say that the tags, you know, I don't have an issue with the tags, but I have an issue with uh, the population changing in a week, that's a problem. So um, I'm going to say that um, the reliability would be unreliable. So I'm going to say unreliable. as um, Tamiki assumed that um, the population would not change in a week now, I feel like I've said two things here, but this is for three marks. Um, it does say I should consider assumptions that he needed to make. Um, so I will mention the other assumption about the tags. So, Tamiki, I'm just going to state that as a sentence. So, Tamiki assumed that the tags would remain. Okay, so I made a comment on the tags. Um, I, I made a decision on the reliability, which I said unreliable. And um, I, I linked that to the assumption that the population would have had to have remained the same for this method to work. 